Welcome to Turnright Machine Works. My name is Keith and we are starting What's in Your Box 2014 Toolbox Giveaway. And this is the box we're going to fill. Here we are again and I brought out the toolbox. Uh, got it set up here on the table and I have four boxes here I want to go through and open up and show you what's been contributed to the box once again and I got uh, I got my uh, list here we'll go ahead and be checking this off and uh, then later on I'll get in and I'll modify the list on the website and the photographs of the individual items I'll continue doing the same thing. That way you can you can peruse those pictures and you can actually see what's been contributed to the toolbox by whom and kind of overlay that with the machinist tool list. We're trying to we're actually trying to fill two boxes now because the guys over at Digicon um, uh, are are building a wooden box to add into this as well. And uh, um, Brian, I think he sent me an email the other day. He was kind of wondering when uh, we'd like to have that box over here. And we don't want to push uh, on the, uh, the craftsmanship and, and your skills and talents and putting that box together. Um, but sometime, probably the first week of November would be a real nice uh, time to actually have it here so we can start taking a look at it and, um, and uh, showing it in our videos as well. Um, so anyway, I'm going to clear this off and we're going to go through and we're going to open up one box at a time like we have been doing uh, the last two uh, video sessions here on the donations uh, for the toolbox giveaway. All right, I got one here. Uh, this is Royal Mail. This one here come from uh, John Mills. Um, I have a motion industry box here and I happen to know that uh, that's uh, Adam Booth. Um, in this package here, um, what's in your box giveaway, this one come from Norway, this is Eric Hope, and in this box here, um, it come from MSC, but I, I got an email telling me that it was going to be on its way, and this is from Bill de la Vega, and uh, we're going to be opening up these four projects, so let me get these off to the side, so I got a nice clear table, and we're going to take on one at a time. Alright, before we get uh, open up some boxes here, I want to take this little bit of time here and have a little share. And uh, this is basically a call out for Lenny Carson. Alright, and this is a letter that I, 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 I got from him. And uh, he said, I want to thank you again for what uh, you do. I'm the shop teacher from Chesapeake, Virginia. And we have emailed a few times. I noticed that my woodwork has improved greatly since watching your videos and I share that with as many students as I can. I once measured in eighth inch tolerances but now I use my calipers and squares with expectations that my work can be dead nuts too. I know you must be exhausted after running your business every day making videos and looking at emails and comments. I won't elaborate too much on what you have meant to me. Suffice to say, you are one of my heroes. As I told you in the email, I was lucky enough to be an intern at Huntington Ingalls Newport News Ship Building this summer. You were a driving force for me that, <clears throat> to me, make that happen. I wanted to see where people like you come from. I'm no welder, but thanks to you, I won this little welding competition among the interns using a TIG welder and received the enclosed, enclosed coin as a prize. I want to have it, I want you to have it because this image of the tugboat Dorothy and the model Always Good Ships reminds me of you. The Dorothy was the first boat to come from that shipyard and the founder Coleus P. Huntington had this famous saying, We shall build good ships here, at a profit if we can, at a loss if we must, but always good ships. Coleus Potter Huntington. 
That's a get her done attitude from a hundred years ago. As promised, I enclosed a portion of my pay as shipbuilder as a way of saying thanks in a way that you, you can use. Keep up the good work and stay well, my friend. Regards, Lenny Carson. I, I think, you know, that's probably one of the nicest uh, emails that, and thank yous that I've, I've received. And uh, this coin here is a, a fantastic uh, trophy piece for your welding uh, uh, competition there. And it does, it has a tugboat on the front there and uh, Newport News uh, Signy on the back side. I'll give a close up of that. Um, and I sent, <clears throat> I sent Lenny uh, a couple shirts and a hats and, and stuff for a return. Uh, thanks um, for keeping me informed and I'm glad you got to the, uh, the shipyards there. And in fact, he actually sent me uh, a couple photographs and, and, and when, you, when you're walking the ground underneath a ship that's in dry dock, or on land and it's a, it's a fantastic sight to see the the awe is way beyond uh, I don't know the, the the amount of weight that you can see that's sitting there outside the water uh, it's just it, it it's a feeling of its own uh, I remember being in dry dock many times and you know, it's <laughs> it, it takes you a little bit to get working because you're you're trying to suck up the view that you actually have that <clears throat> not too many people actually get a chance to see. Uh, and you know, it's just just like if you were building skyscrapers and being up there, and uh, you know, whether you're a rivet man or whatever, and you're up there, and I imagine the view looking down from the structure that you're building is is quite awe as well. Um, all right, I just I, I had to give that special thanks there, Lenny. Uh, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me, and I appreciate the the token, and I'll treasure it, and I'll put it in my uh, cabinet by my desk there. And uh, let's get on with our uh, giveaway here. Okay, this uh, this first package we're gonna open up. We're not going in any special order. Uh, this one here is from Eric Hope in Norway. Label it what's in your box to give away there. And uh, we got some uh, stamps there from Norway. That's, uh, that's kind of neat there. So let's... <clears throat> See if we can... Tape, huh? <laughs> I already turned this thing around once, so I might have to go get a new one. Save that address there so I can uh, send you back uh, a <clears throat> thank you there. Alright, nice envelope there. What's in your box giveaway? Thanks for the business card there, Eric, too. Uh, I miss the Fenner and family. First, let me tell you that you are a true inspiration for machinists around the globe. The idea of giveaway to up and coming machinists are such a great idea and I want to make my contributions in the metric way. 
I hope it will come to use. I also include a few metric threading items for practice. <laughs> laughing out loud. I hope this will become an annual event and if so I will do my best to help fill the box every year. The art of machining is dying and it's your, our duty to keep it alive. Not the least to save the world from all the unnecessary garbage, both what we throw and the garbage we buy. If a drill press like mine had been running for a hundred years, it will run another hundred with a little fixing. A cheap one from Ching Chong in bright colors and chrome handles will last till you get the till the guarantee runs out and a wee bit more. Let's keep the world running and repair it one piece at a time. The grandfather of Leatherman is for you Keith. It's old as heck and it's a standard issue for the Norwegian Silver Defense. Never use though never use though SF silver for uh, I can't pronounce that word I'm just bad uh, looking forward to more of your videos the finished show is preferred over everything else get her done sincerely Eric um, I I I know your last name's Hope, but uh, the Norwegian spelling there, I'll have to translate that. <laughs> Lord, to make it easy, Eric J. Hope. Um, <clears throat> Eric, Eric and I communicate back and forth on uh, uh, on Facebook and, and email and a couple other things there on a pretty regular basis there. Let's see what Eric's got in the box here. Little four, you know, I have a six inch. I that that is one tiny little crescent wrench, um, but uh, a nice adjustable, a uh, a C clamp. Nice little scribe there, and that cap is not going to get lost anywhere. That's pretty cool. Made in Norway, a little tiny screwdriver. That is cool. Let me see if I can. A oh, nice spring action on those. Pretty smooth uh, pair of needle nose pliers. There's a nice pair. These these look very these these are brand new. Vernier calipers. Okay, there's sets of uh, metric set screws, four millimeter by twelve. Well, you're not going to lose none of this. Okay, this must be like on linemen or working uh, overhead. You got it all strapped on there and you're not going to drop any of it. That must be the Leatherman right there. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> All right, here's uh, 
0.01 millimeters to 25 millimeter micrometer. Anvil's open. It's got a nice feel to it. That's all sealed up. I'm not going to take it out of the seal. In the wrench to adjust it. That's a nice addition there, Eric. And uh, some metrics. Grease fittings, Zerp fittings, straight, 90s. Looks like some 45s in there as well. Awesome. Thank you very much, Eric. All right, let me get those laid out. And I thank you for the Leatherman. <laughs> okay, uh, a couple things here we can we can mark off on. Uh, a, a nice oil job on these two, Eric. Uh, just make sure that they. Uh, they don't rust or anything and we make sure that we uh, keep them uh, open you know I kind of like that 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 when you let go of that lock you can't you can't move that that's pretty neat so I mean <clears throat> it's it, it's easy to read dials or digitals and everything else but true uh, vernier measurements um, you, you've got to you've got to take a little bit of time and you got to stare and, and find your alignment reading and uh, aligning the lines of exactly getting your measurement and uh, by that locking in that position you're guaranteed that you no know, matter how long it takes you to read that you're, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get what you had put the brake on or set that at that that's kind of uh, that's a that's a nice feature right there and it's all a friction thing, so it doesn't matter. It's not. It's not in any one position. Um, that's nice. Beltima. Um, if my pronunciation is right, or um, that's cool. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that down here. Uh, we have dial or digital calipers and um, and we don't really, I'm just going to write uh, Bernier caliper alright and uh, another 0 to 25 millimeter micrometer set And we got another scribe in here. And a screwdriver, another pair of needle nose pliers. Thank you very much, Eric. We're going to go ahead and put this away, get on to the next box. All right, uh, we're going to open up the Royal Mail now. This is another one from across the pond. Uh, John Mills sent us this, and uh, he just got labeled uh, laid tools out here. And uh, it's cool, he gave me the uh, sender address back here. The tips are for you. I have dozens all the same. 12 thread per inch. John. Alright. Let's see. What's the best way to open this up?
thought this thing had like a tear thing on it, but oh, maybe this is it over here. Okay, yeah, right here. Here, John uh, made these self-aligning tools, and uh, here's an here's another one here. And he presses a bearing on a shaft here, and then you can hold this in your uh, tool post and come in against and help roll your your piece that you have spinning in a lathe to force it to run true. Because sometimes uh, chucks are slightly out or uh, bell mouth worn things like that over a period of time uh, and this is a great tool that helps also uh, he he shows in his uh, videos as well and I see that he actually has some paint on here um, so that you can you can actually see motion because he uses this to touch off and and locate in the middle as well uh, it's a great tool. Thank you very much, Don, for putting another one of these in here. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> great, John's uh, email: uh, machining, welding, castings. Have fun. Visit my YouTube. Uh, it gives the YouTube everything else. Twisted engineering. John Mills. Double boost. All right. Nice card there, John. And I see these inserts are the ones you're talking about, and I'll have to see if I have some kind of a holder for those as well. Now here's a, uh, I'm not sure if this is a Morris taper, might be a Morris taper. And the center drill is all mounted into it, so you can put this into your tailstock uh, and automatically come in with the center drill all set up. Excellent. All right, John, that's excellent. Thank you very much. A couple homemade tools for the box. And this is a motion industry box. We know that uh, Adam Booth uh, works there. Uh, it's his regular day job. He does some pretty awesome things there. On Facebook, he posts uh, uh, quite a few uh, day shots. I like to call them day shots. It's just like uh, uh, I might have something that's really, uh, it's not material that I'm going to be shooting uh, a video on. Uh, but it might be just a glimpse here or there of what's going on uh, in, in the shop. It might be a little bit out of the ordinary uh, and things like that. Or just a good share. Um, so anyway, Adam sent us his box. Let's see what he sent us. And uh, I want to go ahead. I think I got his address somewhere, but I want to make sure that I'm able to things here. Let's get rid of the, the big box here. Alright Adam, let's uh, well this is kind of cool because actually uh, <clears throat> Looking like uh, some stuff here we can get marked up on the 
on the tool list. And uh, I want to thank you very much for um, your cards as well. Yeah, I, I don't have any more than just my, uh, my regular business card, but I do the same thing and put the channel on the back here. All right, and I believe uh, there's one for double boost, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put those in the box here as well um, so that um, we can share those with the winners as well. All right, um, all right, outside, inside spring calipers. This is a Starrett. These are old roundy uh, uh, shank styles here. Um, I have a couple of them myself, real nice. A couple times I get asked questions of how do I get that nice set of bent uh, inside spring calipers for reaching around a bore, but I can get inside I can get inside the bore around a bar. And I, it, it originally was a pair similar to this, and then I heated them up and bent them. Uh, at a 90 degrees and that's how I actually created those and an old timer actually helped me do that um, and you know showed me how to heat them up simultaneously and bend them uh, as a match set there and I think I think we held them somewhat in a vise so they were kind of straight and we, we cross flamed it uh, type of thing um, and bent them while they were hot and then let them cool uh, so they stress relieved in that, it, that same position there um, very nice set Adam, thank you very much, and a an actual pair of dividers, it looks like with hardened tips, that actually match the the same style or shape, this is, this is a General, General makes this pair here, very nice, and those, uh, those definitely are items that I can mark off on the tool list here as well. I'm going to go ahead and open up before I get into the the marking of it. Um, nice drill gauge here. And uh, it's got the scales, millimeters, and 64s there. Um, you're marked off on, on uh, dimensions on your on your length or angle. Uh, of your drill gauge. So you're not just doing the angle of the tip of it also. You're you're able to use these increments right here to find out that you are centering your grind from one side to the other side. I use it more of that than anything else. Uh, protractor off the back side here and then you have uh, I'm not sure I forgot what the top here was on your five, six, seven, and eight, and nine measurements there but it's all laid out right here on the end. Protractor square center finder, drill point gauge, circle divider. Okay, the circle divider, that's it. That's when you're dividing your circles, what your lines are. So you line up your five, your six, your seven, eight, and nine for dividing up those. And those are, uh, that's cool. Your tap size, unified national course, and National Fine on the bottom there. That's a pretty universal tool right there. I like that. And, and a nice little uh, lock on it. Alright, he's got a fishtail here. And uh, products engraving corp. Uh, I think it's engraving corp. Los Angeles, California. Uh, sometimes you see advertisement from different shops on on your fish tails you got your double depth and everything else on there sometimes you get a, a blank fish tail and it's so nice to have your double depth in there so that you're grabbing and you you kind of know what you're feeding in on your, your compound your compound angle is a little bit different than straight in depth there but uh, uh, very very close to that I use my dashboard gauge and everything else, so that's the, the true true numbers are in on that depth there. And here's a nice scale. Products engineering.
was wondering if this slides back and forth, but it doesn't. And uh, but you can probably loosen that screw there. A reach in uh, scale. So many times you're inside and you want to reach inside that bore, and you can pull right against that back side there and get a good reading on on your depth there. That's awesome. I I actually don't think I I have one. Um, I don't use it on a daily basis. I have some scales setting in a box somewhere, and I may I may actually have one, but I don't have it out. And I, by the time I get into looking for something, I end up finding some other way to set something flat up against the backside and stuffing it in there. So it is a handy tool to have. It's it's actually it's handy to keep it handy. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see what's in in this. Well, this is a this is a ton of stuff here, Adam. Sweet. Some virgin uh, high speed tool bits here. You got a piece of cobalt there. I see in the tape. I'm not going to open them all up here, but you got quarter, um, or it looks like three sixteenths, quarter, three eighths, and half inch. And awesome. That's uh, that'll be one to scratch off on the uh, on the tool list there. I don't know if it does any good to twirl this thing around or what. But. Mitchell box. Let's see what we got in here. <laughs> Some more of your cards there, great. Look at that. One to three inch micrometer set. Very cool, Adam. Very cool standards in here. You got your wrenches to adjust them. That's excellent. a couple of these brown and sharp push push buttons. I mean I have sterrets and that's what I usually use. It even grabs through this towel I got on here. That's pretty cool. Right there on the list there, Adam. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, it's so far, everything that you've given is just about a mark off on the list there. Um, I appreciate it. That's what this whole thing's all about. And and every one of these things is something a, uh, a journeyman or a beginner or an apprentice machinist is really looking to have in their box. All right. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to lay it down just so it doesn't drop. Excellent. <laughs> there we go. And some earplugs. And what do we got here? Bright mark. Paint marker. Excellent. Excellent items. Excellent items for the box. Dicom steel red lane layout fluid and tapmatic.
Awesome, Adam. Thank you very much. Um, let me get this all together and get a good photo of it there. Put in the uh, the website there, and it looks like I'm going to be uh, putting some blue blue ink on this uh, tool list here. Awesome job. Look at that. Mag base with indicator. Zero to three micrometers set. Another pair of safety glasses. Um, we got another couple earplugs. Hmm. Thought I had dividers down here, but oh, I have it up here. Okay, one pair of dividers. All right, and uh, drill gauge, drill sharpening gauge right there. All right. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, we're down here to our last box here, and this is from uh, Bill D. La Vega. And he says, Hi, Keith, just uh, to let you know I'm drop shifting a, a Nicholson file set for the box. He did last year, and it was a real nice set. I forgot to put in a file card in the same order, but I called them and they added, Hopefully, there's no problem. I think it is a great that you are doing this again this year. Glad your business is doing well. It has been doing well. It's a little bit slow right now, but that's I, I can catch up on a few things there. Uh, I think I'm finally going to get to uh, Terrell's uh, gear there for his lathe there. He's been holding, been waiting <laughs> patiently. <laughs> Bless him. Um, P.S. I'm, I'm sure you already got this, but you can watch Colin make the mill stop. It looks like he did a really nice job. Yeah, Bill's uh, referring to the mill stop right here that's uh, in the top of the box here. And uh, here's his site right here and you can see this being made. All right, all right, Bill, let's, uh, okay, they always say tear, you know, this is the new, new packing here for uh, MSC. And uh, what I like to do is I like to just flip it right on over and because I like to reuse boxes as well and you can't reuse the box if you pull that string on the top there. So, you go like that, you, you're into the box really easy. They never take the bottom really well. The top is built like a dinosaur. Um, Alright, this is just the packing. Yes, uh, here's the file brush. This is a really cool file brush right here. And I like this. A little bit better than the the straight metal ones that only have the the coarse the coarse uh, wire brush on the one side. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it out so you can see that coarse coarse here. This really gets in and gets them stuck out parts, but for the most part of the dust and everything else, this bristle part right here does a great job. Um, uh, Really nice. Nicholson brand also, that's that's a Nicholson file, uh, card file, and um, or file card, I should say, in the right pronunciation for those who are learning. And this, this is a file set, and this is, you know what, this is, this looks like a step up from last year because last year it was like a plastic case, and this is a, it's a nylon case right here. A little flaw in that sew job right there. There we go. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine files. <coughs> little triangle files. Really handy for <coughs> threads. And uh, a little step up here as well. Half round bastard. A 
flat bastard file. You got a round, you got a 10 inch, and then we get a mill, straight mill, single cut. There's a flat bastard, 10 inch, and then a 12 inch single cut mill file. Very nice set, again, Bill, and uh, really nice file card. This is an awesome uh, set here, and definitely we're going to cross off uh, Mills file and round file. We can that's that's one whole set there. It handles everything and they all come with handles on them. Everybody says why is it important to have handles? Uh, uh, you know on a file there there's a, sh a sharp straight point and if you're not using a, 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 a handle on it you stand a chance on getting that item jammed into your hand, your arm or something uh, and it, it's not going to be pretty. All right. What I like about these, I think these are formed right on the end. You're not going to get these off. Alright. Thank you very much, Bill. And I think that's going to wrap up our box uh, opening today. Oh, I want to get a nice picture of this. Alright. <clears throat> Let's do that. And keep adding. Alright, contributions can be sent in to 791 Main Street, West Dennis, 02670, uh, Turn Right Machine Works. And don't forget to write on the outside of the box what's in your box. Alright, I want to thank everybody that contributes to the Toolbox giveaway. And it really means a, it means a lot to me and I know it will mean a lot to the recipient of the box this year. Okay. Um, I'll get some of this posted up here. I'll get the photographs up on my web page here and I'm going to put the box away. <clears throat> and uh, I think it just barely fits in there right now. And until next video, get her done.